Hello and welcome to our Mellow Early Access. You know what that means? That means I got the recording to work. Which was quite an achievement in the end. I had to play around with the settings and look things up for other programs. <laughs> but we got there. We got there in the end. So now we can take a look at our Mellow while in Early Access. So hopefully give you an idea whether or not you are interested in the game. You may wish to get it when it comes out in full. Maybe even try it in Early Access like I have. Um, which I hope you do, because it's made by, uh, I looked it up, it's made by an independent developer from Australia. We don't get a lot of game developers down here, so please support them. I would very much appreciate that. They would um, appreciate it more, I think. But in general, support the industry down here, please. And yeah, it, besides that, it actually looks like a really fun game. I've played it a handful of times, um, and it's actually really really involved and quite enjoyable. It's also difficult, which you wouldn't expect for this kind of game. Uh, I've only won probably about 50% or even less of the games I've played, and that is mostly due to its very steep learning curve. Um, it definitely takes a few playthroughs to get used to it, even now I don't feel like I've got a complete grasp of it, which is really good value for a game of such a low price and that looks this cartoony and you would just expect it to be easy at this kind of board game card game kind of thing you think especially playing against ai you'd be able to just walk all over them with your strategy but it's not the case so yes without further ado we will get into it um momentarily i will say one more thing i will link in the description as long as i remember the best in slot video which is where i first found out about the game uh it's definitely worth watching because i just can't go through that depth of explanation that he did. He's a pro at this. I'm only just starting out, so I do encourage you to watch that so you'll fully understand what's going on here. Um, as I said, it is quite complicated. There's only so much explanation I can do without making this game, this recording, seem pointless and boring. So this is going to be more of an intermediate level kind of thing. When, how you'll play and what the gameplay will be like once you know what's going on. So if you do feel a bit lost, I will recommend watching that. Video, otherwise try and pick it up as we go along. Okay, with that said, we are going to uh, start off. We're going to play Thane because I think um, it'll be more interesting for a first video to play a sword fight fighting class. Uh, as you can see, I've already unlocked one of the rings from when I won with him. And I won with him via Prestige. As you can see, I unlocked that token. Okay. So I could start off with two prestige, which is actually really good because that will pretty much give me control of the declarations from the beginning. And the declarations are basically cards that the king plays every turn, which have global effects. So, and you get to choose which one he plays. So that's pretty useful. But I am going to, as much as tempted I am, I am just going to go all out fighter and pick an extra fight and keep the move at night. By the way, the other ring. I can't remember if I flicked over to it, it just gives you uh, one cold when you kill something, which isn't that useful. Anyway, so there's a nice little intro. As you can see, the game is quite pretty. The graphics are nice, and I do like the touch of when I zoom out, like... Oh, the king is... There we go. Oh, sorry, now I can show you after this. You see the first little quest comes up. Your clan has a range for a member of the king's court to meet you, but her treachery has been revealed, <gasps> and a bounty placed on her head. Find her before she is silenced forever. It's pretty dark for a first quest, gotta say. Okay, so there's a little character setting his little corner. And you see, yeah, see, they're all in their own little corners. And you'll notice as I zoom out, you'll get distorted. Now, I like that, it's a nice touch. It is basically like you're going up in and above the clouds. Um, it's I, know, I just really like that kind of realism, even in a cartoony uh, animal game. But yes, okay, so let's see what cards we have. Minus two health and force target off mountain. Oh, it does let's burn for an attack, which is good on him because they cannot block when we burn for attacks. Play on a Jason hero to minus two health. And a uh, minus health, minus action point trap. Okay. So. 
we're going to go into the swamp and do our quest to start off with. You've tricked the Doom politician to a nameless dog. Bo sorry, <laughs> dog. To a nameless bog deep in the wildlands. Her footprints are soon joined by others, all leading to a nearby bandit camp. Please stop creeping or I will break you headphones. Sorry, I will get new ones. I will. Okay, test prestige by exploring or test wits by concentrating. Uh, my wits are at three, my prestige is at zero. So I'm gonna go test wits, see what happens. You try to concentrate, but the sound of your own pounding heart drones the muffled cries of the position. You skulk away from the camp with nothing. Oh, boo! It's the first time I've lost one of those, actually. I still get prestige and gold. I just. Maybe I would have got an item if I, if I won. A former royal scholar has requested you help them, help him transport his scrolls across the plains. His opinions are considered dangerous by many, but his knowledge could prove valuable in your quest for the Tran. Hmm, interesting. Oh, well, we'll do it anyway. But yes, as you would have heard or read in any descriptions that you've seen or listened to, this is basically Game of Thrones with animals. So expect a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, there's actually a card which I'm expecting to use for the thumbnail, so I found this on other videos. Um, which is actually a play on Game of Thrones, it's called Game of Thorns and you steal prestige of other players, it's fantastic. We got nothing. Woo! <laughs> Exciting. Great start, guys. Great start. It's gonna end the turn there. <laughs> On that lovely note. Moon juice. Okay. <clears throat> so while they're warming me around, I'll just tell you whereabouts. We are with the video. Um, basically, um, I'm I'm enjoying the game, and I also wanted to put out videos that were relevant. So we're doing an early access game. That's the, basically the reason we're doing Armello as our current board game, computer game crossover, um, which is pretty much what this channel was meant to be about before I just started doing Primal Carnage videos. <laughs> but yes. Um, uh, so yeah, we're not ready yet to do proper board game recordings, so the computer game crossovers will do, and I only recently found software that will let me record my board games on computer. So that's that one, and also, oh, sorry, I'll, I'll explain all later. We'll just go play before you or lose your order board them to boredom. So okay, so through the woods. Oh, challenger approaches. This oh, look at this crap I don't have. Uh, that didn't work last time, did it? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Before you go, open for stage, yeah, I'll do. I just came from there. It looks like it's moved the... Yeah, oh no, it's there. It's just another one. Okay, she's on full health. I don't really want to fight right now. Um, Let's see what item she has to bunny. She has no items. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, let's get that first. Hmm. Cost two gold. I have nine gold. Hey, cool. hey. Throwing Axe first. She's not on a mountain. Could do that one. Uh, no, let's just go in there again. Okay. We're gonna burn the blizzard one. And that'll give us a guaranteed hit because our class, when you burn attack, it can't be blocked. Oh, she got four bloody attack already. Ugh. I should survive this, actually. Yeah, I'll be on one health and she's dead. So, good win. Good win for me. I'll knock her prestige down. 
give me control of the towns. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. But yeah, sorry, okay, now that sign is taking his down. Follow. Follow! Yeah. <laughs> Fighting, I'll tell you. Um, basically, my intention is to get the other guys to buy, also play this game eventually, and then we can also show you what multiplayer is like with the game. See, the, there are a lot of other videos floating around that will show you some of the uh, single player early access um, to let you know whether you like it or not, but also, I think this game has more potential as a multiplayer than just versing AI constantly, and so I'd like to show you what that looks like. So that's in the works, but for the meantime, let's we'll see if you like the game in general first. As you can already tell, there is a lot going on, and I'm going to stop talking at you and start playing the game very shortly, but... Yes, okay. Do that now, uh, we're in a fight. Uh, oh, God damn. <laughs> oh, I better get a lot of defense. Chill, chill, chill me up. Oh, attack, attack. Blow up. Oh, god damn. <laughs> well, at least she's gone down with me. Amber and Thane have slain each other. Well, at least I keep my town. Ha ha. Okay, now it's the new dawn. Who has the most prestige? You can pick the card. Oh, it's me. I wonder, okay, how does it choose me over Mercurio if we have two each? I'm not sure. Okay, two gold. I'm gonna suffer one magic. Everyone loses one magic. See, that's why I like having the most prestige. <laughs> Other than the fact that you win at the end of the game if you do, but... So I should probably put that up. Right, at the moment. Game guide. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was the winning? Winning the game, there we go. So this is the different ways to win. Uh, Kingslayer, so another Game of Thrones reference. Um, enter the palace and kill the king. Uh, spirit Stone Victory, pick up four Spirit Stones and walk into the palace. Rot Victory, which is basically Kingslayer Victory, but with higher Rot than the King. So I don't really see the advantage of that, other than you unlock stuff from doing different victories. But yes. Oh, and then the Prestige Victory, which I told you about. It's sort of like the default when whoever's got the most points at the end wins. Kind of like Civ Civilization. There's there's domination and other it's scientific and different ways to win. But if no one does that by the year twenty twenty or whatever it is, then whoever has the most points wins. That's basically how that works. Um here we go. Exit. Turn the game. So now that you know what we're doing, we're gonna um, I'm gonna take some items because I wanna get some gear basically. And yeah, I got none of it. Not a single one. I don't really want to go through the peril because I'm probably going to lose. Ah, oh, screw it. Okay, so to beat the peril, I have to get those symbols. Um, I'll burn one of those because it guarantees me that symbol. But I need to roll a sword and a shield. No. But I do get to roll again. Shield? <gasps> Come on off! Oh, God. Damn you. Well, that's the end of my turn now. Oh no, oh no, it was two health, one action point. I thought it was the other way around. To another peril. Still one of Oh, that's not that bad if I fail that one. So I'm just gonna roll, take my chances. Tree. Oh, look at the sun. Shield. I didn't get the moon. Oh, one off again. It'll be on your try. I didn't have any items from the steel. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, oh, finally a test fight one. 
walking a trail of quite some time. The rat is sitting down across from you. She smiles, a toothy, jagged grin. Tell me, why would a pup like you deserve the throne? Bear your teeth and demand her allegiance. This doesn't seem like an appropriate response, but we're going with it. Oh, gold. And prestige and... Oh, a follower! Oh, lovely. Members of the defense being impressed. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, I'll get there. Um, now I can put this follower in the party. See, with our little friend. In battle, shield cards are put and counter sword instead. Now, I think that works really good with this character. I haven't used it with him yet, but I have wanted to. Basically, whenever I burn any shield or sword cards, it'll count as an attack, which can't be blocked. So, it's, it's going to be very useful. God, there's perils everywhere. Okay. It's my turn, isn't it? Yep, yeah, well, we're just getting the turn. One gold, one gold, I have seven, so I'm fine. Mercurio's turn. Follow! Hello! <laughs> Just follow me, Danny. <laughs> oh wow, he's really coming for him. That sign, I gotta say, has a lot of health. Every time I play this game, it's like a tank. I'm actually quite interested to play here. Um, Amber, let's say. Um, I'd like to try and win the Spirit Stone victory with her, because she's good at exploring, which means she should find them quicker. But we will see. Oh no, he got more rot. The rot twists our king deeper into madness. In the meantime, we're going to press this button. Or not. That's one thing I'm, that's annoying me a bit about the game. It has a lot of pop-up things that disrupt you from what you're doing. I suppose you should probably just do this in your own turn. So it's kind of my fault. Yep. That's good. Okay. So, bring up character info. And we can check out the others. Which I like. Um, it doesn't hide from you the other players' stats or abilities or weapons or anything like that. It's very open, so... Which, what the hell? I have two spirit stones? Where did I get those from? I have... The, the fuck is... Okay, so that's the... Um, the current... The current declaration. But yeah, so it shows you how much prestige and everything everyone has. At the moment, and we're going pretty good. And what I really wanted to see was items. That's a good one. Instant shield. Um, yeah, plus one fight in battle, that's pretty good. Perils getting one donut to die. Yep, yep, very good. Hidden forest, yeah, okay, very good. Lovely. Now, where am I? Where do I want to go? Quest is over there. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go into the dungeon. Three gold. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Gonna heal, actually. Hey. There we go. Takes two moves to get onto that mountain, so I can't. He's in my way of where I want to go. Uh, it's gonna stand there, actually. Yeah, gonna waste that move. Oh well. Draw, draw, draw. He's gonna get a rod for that. And for dying there, so he's gonna get a rod to be on two when he wakes up. Yeah, 
so I suppose there's no real disadvantage to having more than one rot um, until you get corrupted but even then it's sort of different rather than being a complete disadvantage but yeah see I, I've so far I found the best strategy is to just get good equipment and maintain control with your prestige Three beans or no battles? I'm gonna go no battles. I don't particularly want to fight anyone at the moment until I get better items. So there we go. No one can fight unless they lose all of their prestige. So I suppose if you have no prestige, it's a good one to pick as well. <laughs> so you just go around killing people and they won't fight you back. So something I found, I don't know if it's a criticism, but it's something strange about the game. There's no real advantage to killing other players, other than um, it they lose one prestige when they die. For the risk that you take to attack them, uh, you think you'd get like gold off them, or an item, or a card, or something, but you just don't. So, you know, do that. Yeah, I just keep getting items, like, isn't good, basically. No, I like my action points. Capture settlement. There's perils everywhere. Let's go into the mountain. Okay, I don't really want to use that. It's a Three shields is very good, but I really don't like the loss of the loss of movement. Perils getting plus one bonus die. How much is it? One gold. Okay, that's good. Let's see. There's three. You can't take them off, but you can put things over the top of them. So they're stuck there, but they don't really take up a space. If you know what I mean, you can go over the top of them. Oh, it tells you the artist, it's so nice. Sorry, I, I do know that this is not pointed that out, but I, I like to point it out too, because it is a really nice touch. Anyway, let's get busy. Well, not really, let's get unbusy and pass the turn over. See, look, he's got six health. That's he's a brute. Thank you for taking out all the perils, mate. <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's actually quite a good game. As you can see, there is a lot going on. So I understand if you're not taking it all in right yet, but... You do see that it's not your typical board game or card game, it's just done in a really creative way. Night time. Darkness falls across our mellow. The beans will pop up and become more active. See so they can clear the towns so that the person whose town it was loses it. No longer gets gold off the town. So that's what, yeah, having them gives you gold every turn. Bastard. It's all over my village. Item. Hmm. Four health still. Man, that guy. I do want it though. Let's have a look. What items does he have again? Bear. It's plus one extra fight. I have an extra shield and can burn for a lot of damage. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. So I want that town. <coughs> also, it's a better path to go. Okay, we're gonna burn that for damage. If we should use that, I'm gonna burn it anyway. And then keep that one. Then roll. Hey, that should have. Oh, I had the berserker. Oh no, that's my shield. Yeah, that was from the berserker. 
So it's three. He did four, so he's going to do three damage to me because of my shield. He's on one health. But because I won the fight, um, he'll get pushed back and I'll get the town. Oh no, it's three, three. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, kind of ruins my plans a little bit. Let's go in again. Yes, shield, that's what I needed. Three shields, he can't kill me now. I got three dice. Unless he keeps getting pops. Yep, that's it, he's gone. Sorry, bear, but this is my house now. <laughs> Did you see his eyes when he died? <laughs> that was hilarious. The way they just pop up like that. <laughs> like a little, like one of those squeeze toys. And then you squeeze them and their eyes pop up. Oh man, that's funny. Okay, uh, still two moves. Let's see if I hadn't lost that I'd draw on that first fight I'd be able to get to the quest. I could go there and regenerate. I'm just really gonna f attack me. Shoot, well, we'll probably reach me there anyway, so I might as well get the health first. Ooh, I counted a group of druids. Hmm, I wanna go to the Spirit Stone, because I already have two for some reason. I have no idea how I got it. See, if I go to character, oops, character, I have three spirit stones, I have no idea how I got the first two. If someone else knows that I'm a bit of it, like somehow being really oblivious to something obvious, please just say, you're an idiot, this is why you have them, shut up. Um, I would very much appreciate that, because like I said, I'm still learning the game myself. But yeah, having three already, I only need to get one more, and then I can enter the palace of wind. Okay. See, he might have a lot of health, but he has no fight. If he wants that item, he'd only be rolling two dice. Oh, there's nothing. Yes, three, four shields! He can't do anything to me. He's gonna pop me something else. He gets another tree. I'm gonna draw. No. He's gonna do one to him, and he'll do nothing to me. Which means I'll win the fight. Very good. Very good. Das ist gut, ja. Oh, again. There we go. Tack, 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 tack. Shield, yay! When I got my three, four shields, okay, I got this. We get worm. Okay, it's one more roll. So, two, three, it's not enough. You'll be on one health, I think. Yeah, as, uh, I could go finish him off in my turn, but as I said earlier, there isn't enough of an advantage to killing other players for it to be worth going out of my way to do so. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to carry on doing what I want to. There is an advantage to killing the Bane, you get prestige for it, so that, that is good. Uh, maybe they've done it that way on purpose, that um, they don't want you just walking around killing other players, being a jerk, unless like it's for the pure strategy of getting them out of a certain area, or they have one more prestige than you and you want to knock them down a peg. Um, but yeah, let's we'll see what she gets. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> um, other than that, yeah, there's no real advantage to go around hunting players. So maybe that's why I did it. Oh, I took my spirit stone. See, that's why it's good to be have the like the one with the highest prestige at the start of the, the day because she would have picked that knowing that it's not going to affect her very much. So 
like it stops other players from winning before the prestige thing takes effect. I, I promise I will get the other two eventually, but I'm just not happy with my gear yet. I could kill him, but he has no prestige, so it is absolutely pointless to kill him. Except that he might take that. Yeah. Oh, he'll take it when he respawns anyway. Yeah, so we'll just go about our business. Good job. The village's tyrannical guard quickly folds as you cut through a score of their numbers. Oh, well done, well done. The wolf clan is grateful, but there is still the question of how to deal with the surviving feline oppressors. Range public execution. Jesus! Slay them all yourself. Or leave the village and expressions the fate of the paws of your clan. I only have one prestige, so I'm gonna slay them. Oh, plus one health. I think I was full health anyway, wasn't I? I don't know. Ah, uh, ball slayer, all the way over there. Okay. Hmm. Are there any. I don't know where I want to go now. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we'll go through the village. Ain't through the forest, sorry, and across. Uh, that's gonna do it for that turn. He'll take my village, the bastard. See, that's why I like Mercurio. As soon as you take the village, you get money. Like, assuming that it was already a claim to them. Like, you don't get it for claiming them, but you do steal money off the people you take it from. Which is a nice little touch. You get instant reward, so you don't have to wait till next turn for it to have mattered that you took it. I also found with Mercury, I use tricks and spells a lot more. Rather than just relying on equipment. She is kicking off. What has she got? Peril. She doesn't even have any good stuff. How is she killing all these fangs like they're nothing? I suppose it's daytime, but still. Bastard. Oh, well, Silas did. Oh, yeah, you let's spare him. Curio. He's got five fight. Don't really want to take him on. And the King's Guard's in the way again. And I don't want to fight because I'll lose my prestige. So I'll just waste my final turn, I guess. Ooh. Oh, they're both dead. Affects Amber more than it does Sana. A lot more. You dirty rat. See, he took one of my gold. Daytime! Who has the most prestige now? Probably still am. Oh, yep. My fair bit. She picked a hero. The king gives a hero the lowest prestige. Oh! Good on ya. Move, you bastard. There we go. Uh, by the way, please let me know if you do want to see more of these, which I probably will do more of because I'm enjoying the game at the moment and it's 
uh, I think the first game on the channel that is new, uh, other than well, Primal Kind is kind of still new, I guess. But yeah, so I want to do more of it. Uh, let me know if there's a particular character you want to see or a particular uh, way you want me to try and win uh, or anything like that. And yeah, I'll probably do it. So feel free to speak up. <laughs> I would be moving out of that town if I lived there every night without fail. Freaking Bane rocks up and terrorizes the streets. Get a job! Oh shit, it's fighting me! <laughs> what do I have to burn? Him. Oh shit, that's a sun, I don't want to do that. Oh, let's go. Too late. Defense, ten. Don't want to die to this thing. I don't think I got two nine anyway. I don't know what I'm worried about. I wonder if that counts as slaying it. If I use that to finish it off, probably not. Do I want to risk it? I don't want to risk it. I will kill it, and this way... What? Can't play it there? Uh, maybe I can't play it on Bane. I'm just gonna run. Okay, if you know this climb, you stand at the main gate, the boar's main tin fortress. I don't know why I said it like that, just because he sounds like a hick. <laughs> the sound of pain and suffering are heard beyond those walls. If you're not careful, yours may yet join them. Okay, we're gonna test fight. I just come from there. Okay, so where we got money, money, or money? Oh, or pain, of course, of course. I avoided fighting the one I could kill. Now I have to take on this bastard. Oh, we got sun, throwing axe, throwing axe. What's the point? Just throw the dice, switch shields. I don't even care if I kill it. Two, four, five. Oh, six. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, I've got rot. Oh, oh, oh. fucking Banes, I swear to god. They're a pain in the arse. Now I've got Rot, so every... I'm never on full health, basically. Pain in the arse. It's not going well. It's not going well. What the prestige this bitch got now? Right. Oops. Four. Okay, it's not that much more than me, but still. Oh, well, she just. Oh, she's gonna stay on four because she killed a pain there. See? Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, King. I'll take that one. Okay. The other thing I like about some of the other heroes as well is um, with the higher wit you can have more cards, which is very useful. Because I lost that one to the king. Yeah, three. So that's pretty good. Uh, 
that's gonna do it for my turn. Oh, well, well done, Sana. Well done. Stay away from my settlement. Yeah, bastard. You bastard. Darkness falls. Okay, what do I want to do? Well, I'm not taking him on, that's for sure. So, one, two, three, four, I can get to that. That'd be range of the bane. I can go one, two, three, four into the mountain. Uh, I don't even want the village, I'd rather the, go to the dungeon. Get a stone. I got mana. Oh, I want mana. I can check this throwing axe thing again. No, you can't do it on him. Okay. Oh, oh, you bastard! You're cool. You get so much health. Oh, that's a good. That's a good item. Yeah, eh, take that on. Yeah, take that. One guaranteed damage. Yeah, see, that's why. Um, that item when you roll suns, it should normally be misses at night, or vice versa. Um, or moons. And Day, sorry, is it an So, um, it can automatically cancels the shield for him, so it's just being wasted. So, it's a pretty good item. Yeah, just give me the shields, I don't even care about hurting him. He's got that much bloody health. No, so your AP you're wasting. Your AP. There's still a stone in there, and it's frightening. That I think I'm gonna go for that. Actually, what the health is the king on? Three, yeah, there's only three like turns or oh, day night cycles left, which is. And there's two turns in each one of those. Oh shit, now that makes it two left now. Shit. I'm not gonna get stone and in there in time. I'm gonna have to go for prestige. Um, three, one, one, four. Okay, I just gotta hunt down Amber basically. Okay, that's finally a decent item. I'm gonna fight you. Not even worth my trouble. Where is she? There she is. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Can't get nearer. Let's kill him. Zoom. Okay, is that problem? At least I get to there. Oh, I got the stone. Oh, I might go for the, might go for the win actually. Try four now. Try get in there. I can, I can win this. What's he on? How much health? He's on two. Yeah, got two. So, okay. oh man. Oh, he's in there. What's he doing in there? 
problem is you gotta get through the bloody perils. Which I don't know if I can do. I think you just need a lot of wit to get through perils. I suppose I have that item that helps me out. I got a spell. Another item. Oh, that is a bloody good item, that one. Oh, what do I have? They're more advantageous at the moment because I don't have any settlements, but that is good to keep in mind. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Let's go. Oh shit, I forgot she was there. Okay. This is a damn bush, I can't use my cards. God damn, she could ruin everything. Oh god damn her. Everything. Should have used that. <laughs> Screw it, we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Enter the palace. Shield and moon, shield and moon, baby. Oh, one off. Mother. got this in the back now. <laughs> I don't know how she always has more prestige. I don't know what it is about her that gives her more prestige, but she always has it. Yeah, I'm not really fussed about that. prestige does she have now? Four. So I could just go around taking settlements. One, two, three. Two, three. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be able to get to two. Oh, wait. One, two, three, one, two, three four. Yeah, I could do that. Assuming she doesn't gain any more. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. Okay, so... Oh, I don't have it anymore. I burnt it. Fire, I'm an idiot. Okay. 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 <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna make a run for. We're just gonna make a run for the um, palace, basically. 
get there at nightfall. Okay. <laughs> See what I mean? It's actually more difficult than it appears. It gets relatively intense towards the last few days. You just you going around doing your own thing, and then you're like, "Oh shit, that's right, the king's dying." There's actually a time limit on the game, and then it really becomes, uh, "Oh shit, what's that? What's my the, my best chance of winning this? Like, what objective can I most likely achieve?" Definitely not prestige with Amber running around killing all the Banes. I don't know how she's so strong. Okay, night time. The King's Guard's in the way. Just gonna have to go around the back way. Gonna heal up. Please not be a pain in here. That would ruin my day. Enter the palace. Mm. Oh shit, I don't need any I don't have any of the ones I need. Sword off. Oh my god. <laughs> well, GG, fellas. GG. I'm pretty sure the king's about to cock it. Yep. Now the king dies. The person with the most prestige wins, which of course is that Amber bitch. Five prestige. <laughs> Well, we gave it a red hot go, though. <laughs> uh, I definitely think I'm going to play playing Amber next. Not just because she won, but because I, I want to try her out for that um, Soulstone thing. Although, I did get them myself. So I actually need to get myself more wit. If I want to go for that. Yeah, that, that's the only thing. Um, okay, yeah, Amber wins. Very good. Um, you, yeah, wit is really useful. Uh, it gives you more cards and lets you get to the palace easier, which is important if you want to win any other way but prestige. So I should probably focus it more. Anyway, that will do us for our first look at Armello, the early access board slash card game from independent Australian developer so definitely rate it from that perspective as you can see it's quite fun um, hopefully you enjoyed watching it want to give it yourself a go yourself or just keep watching watching uh, our videos on it uh, yeah, so yeah as long as you're enjoying it but anyway I am starting to ramble a bit as you will notice I do quite often so please do like comment and subscribe let's keep up to date with this series and all other videos on our channel thanks very much for spending your time on us hope you enjoyed it and see ya